Good morning, guys. Welcome to the day one of Vlogmas. If you do not know what Vlogmas is, it is when you vlog every single day leading up until Christmas, which is December 1st through December 25th. It is currently 7 a.m. Yes, 7 a.m. I have my scrubs on because I have class and we're required to wear our scrubs, which honestly, I don't understand why because if we're not in person, why do I need to be wearing my scrubs? for online school but you know rules and regulations i got my bonnet on it's just early and i'm just very tired but i wanted to start off vlogmas strong and not forget to vlog so i'll be taking you through my day for the next 25 days hopefully i can get some good quality content for you guys we're just gonna get it popping i'm gonna be in class for the next eight nine ten eleven twelve next eight hours so i'll be doing random check-ins i think while I'm eating, I'm going to do like a mukbang Q&A so you guys can kind of get to know me. If you haven't watched my get to know me that I did when I first started my channel, because I know I have a lot more subscribers than I did when I first started, then go check that out. But I'm going to do an updated one because I've just changed so much since when I first started my channel. So I am back looking a little better. I have my hair down. I have butterfly locks put on my robe and now I'm about to make breakfast. So I'm gonna make an omelet with the leftover stuff that we have from Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna be using like egg whites, ham, and I made a really good like Brussels sprouts and onions. So I'm just gonna put that in so I have my like veggie. In the mornings I always like to have tea. So today I'm having this, I think it's like soothed turmeric tea. Really good with a splash of honey just to give it a little bit of sweetness. But overall, bomb. All right, it is breakfast time. I have my omelet. I have my soy milk. I'm lactose intolerant, so I don't do cow's milk. I have my tea that's still literally piping hot. You can see the steam. And I have my laptop so I can do a couple questions while I'm, while I'm eating. But look at my omelet, it looks so good. So I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do these eight that I see and I need to get back to class in 10 minutes, so. We're gonna make it quick. So the first question is, who is your hero? Let me think. If we were, <laughs> if we were doing somebody that I personally know, I would say my mom, cause she's just bomb. She's a strong black woman and she just inspires me to reach my fullest potential like i'm never satisfied i always just want to strive for more if i get a 93 i'm like could have had a 97 you know i'm always just trying to oh my god this omelet is literally falling everywhere so yes i would say my mom if somebody i don't know obama that's all i gotta say obama yes we can mm. Mm. that's good thanksgiving hack use one of the meat and one of your vegetables put it in an omelet season it up with some cheese i put cheese rosemary and black pepper and egg whites i'm so good y'all i'm starting my health journey today i've literally been stalking so bad it's just i've had no motivation and I don't know, I just haven't been feeling it. You know when you're just not feeling it? I don't know why I haven't been feeling it. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Hmm, North Carolina. Cause my family, my grandparents, everyone lives in North Carolina. And just as a child, we would go to North Carolina every summer. I would literally spend my whole summers in North Carolina. And it just reminds me of good times, family vibes, seeing my grandparents more often. I like the slow lifestyle because I'm not a very big, I don't know. I like my partying in spurts. So I think I would be good in North Carolina because it's just very slow. It's very homey. Everything is just close. So I think I would be, I would thrive in North Carolina, except I like to shop and the malls in North Carolina are trash, at least around where my grandparents stay. Next one, what is your biggest fear? Bugs. Anything with legs, it's disgusting. Centipedes, millipedes, cockroaches, flies, gnats. I can't do it. 
honestly anything with legs geckos anything that lo that's gonna squirm around and make me feel icky i can't do it i literally cannot do it my boyfriend be like why are you doing so much i'm like look that joint was squirming around i cannot fade mm. so good is what is your favorite family vacation so to be honest we didn't really go on a lot of family vacations but i was a competitive gymnast so with gymnastics i traveled it to a lot of places so i've been to like with gymnastics i went to florida went to colorado arizona south carolina north carolina virginia pennsylvania so i've been to a lot of states so i would say my favorite state for that was colorado it was just a beautiful we stayed at the broadmoor it was this beautiful resort they put chocolates on your pillow they had the bathroom was like this huge bathroom it had a big tub a tv in the room in the bathroom um it was snowing at the time so we just saw the mountains and the snow and we got to compete and then we got to see the girls who were trying to go to the olympics so it was just like a lot it was just so fun and my parents came and i stayed with the team because like you stay with your teammates and then your parents just come to watch but still just having them there it was just it was a vibe i need to start traveling more well once corona's over mm, mm, mm. five minutes okay the next question is what would you change about yourself if you could i feel like this is like my not my fatal flaw but i feel like i'm I don't feel like I'm very forgiving and I can always justify why somebody did something and I really just need to be like look they did what they did and it's a wrap I'm always just like oh it's okay like we can work on it like no I just need to be like no but I also feel like that's also helped a lot of my relationships is to be that trusting person because if you have two people who aren't going to compromise at all you're not gonna have anything Another question for y'all. Do you drink your beverages as you go or do you finish the meal and then drink? It's usually I'll finish everything I'm eating and then I'll drink at the end. But right now I just want something cooling. What is that on my hand? Or what really what makes you really angry? let's say lack of communication because i just feel like that's so stupid if you really think about it if you were to just communicate a lot of issues would be resolved hey i didn't really like when you did that i didn't really like when you did x y and z it really made me feel like x y and z when you did x y and z wow i'm sorry i didn't really i didn't know that i did that it won't happen again i'll adjust my behavior like so many problems so many arguments so many issues i feel like could be resolved if you just open your mouth and talk like i'm not a mind reader that blows me like so terrible communication poor communication communication deficit makes me upset what motivates you to work hard it's just not cute to be a slacker and i've never thought that's cute i've always been the person to go above and beyond when people are just okay with being average it really throws me off i'd be like Mm. so that's what you're on that's the time that you're on and i don't like surrounding myself around people who aren't attempting to better themselves attempting to thrive attempting to take it to the next level all my friends are let me shout out all my friends real quick i'm not gonna do too much but i have one friend who's trying to start a catering not catering um a restaurant one friend she makes um body care so she does body butters beard butters body oils i have another friend who sews so she's trying to get into dentistry school so she sews face masks um scrub caps i have another friend who makes wigs somebody else who excuse me does hair it just goes on another friend is trying to open up a gym we're all just Oh, excuse me, trying to level up. So it's just like when people aren't like that, it really throws me off. And my final question, what is your favorite thing about your career? Well, I haven't technically got into my career yet, but I will be a nurse 
I graduate next year, May 21st, 2021. Get at me, talk to me nice. But my favorite thing so far in learning about my career is just the way the body works. It's so interesting when you know, like, wow, I'm short of breath because my lungs aren't expanding enough and my bronchioles might be clogged up with something. It just all makes sense. Like figure out what's wrong and then fix what's wrong versus just trying to put a bandaid on it or giving them, you know what I mean? I think it's just cool, just the way the body works. And obviously the fact that I'll be able to help people, but I never really knew how interested I was in the body and in the inner workings and the pathophysiology until I started taking these nursing classes. But y'all, I'm about to finish up this food, go back to class, and I'm gonna catch up to you. I love this professor, but she really makes this class so interactive. I can't never catch a break. Every two seconds, she's saying, oh, time for group work. Oh, break off into groups. Okay, da da da, da. We have this running Google Doc. It's almost 10 pages long, just for today's class. Which, I mean, I'm not really complaining that much because I feel like this is one of the only classes where I'm learning crazy. Like, I'm learning a lot. So I guess there's a method to her madness, but... I just like to chill. Okay, y'all. I'm finished with class. It's like around 12.45. We finished very early, so I'm excited about that. I am currently editing today's video because if you do YouTube or you want to do YouTube, edit while you go, especially if you're doing something like Vlogmas when you need to crank out videos every single day. You can't wait until the end of the night to start trying to cut down the footage from the whole day. So I've already cut down everything up until this point. And then I'll probably do it one more time after I get off work. And then I could probably put it all together tonight, cut it, and be done. A little behind the scenes. Got the video going on. I'm having my second cup of tea for this morning or this afternoon. Now I'm having some ginger tea because... We got to build our immune systems. The Rona not playing out here. So I'm always making sure I have my ginger, my lemon, everything. And I'm just very tired. So I think I'm going to take a nap and just relax. Then around 2, I want to do a quick little workout, hop in the shower, and then I have to go to work at 3.30. I'll get back to y'all when I figure out what workout I want to do. But the day's going. I have a little bit of headache, so I really just need to rest. Ooh, the mail's here. Okay, guys. So I've been slacking. I did not go to the gym or I didn't work out because I went to work out and then my Apple Watch was, um, it was dead. So I was like, all right, let me charge my Apple Watch. By the time it charged, I was just tired and I needed to take a shower and leave for work. So it is now like 1030 and I'm about to work out. I'm not playing. I need to get skinty. Not really skinny. I just want to be more in shape because I'm already, I think I'm already a good size. I just want to be more in shape. So, yes. Y'all. Let me tell you, I did 10 minutes, only 10, of a workout, and I was like, oh my god, like, I'm very tired. I was like, oh my god, I need a break. I was literally exhausted. So I'm on the floor, I just set my pillow down, I'm on the floor with my man, knocked out. It's like 11.30 now. I say it's 11.06 p.m. I'm, I'm gonna have to end day one because I am exhausted. I'm exhausted. I had to get up, I'm gonna shower, and now I'm here. I'm gonna see y'all later. I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas day one. I took my nails off today. Full set coming soon, tomorrow. So I will see you guys. I hope you like this vlog. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.